Hi, I'm Chris Kimball from Milk Street Kitchen. I'm here at Williams Sonoma to show you a great make ahead, almost homemade chicken stock for great gravy for Thanksgiving. Very few of us actually make chicken stock anymore. We tend to freeze the, the wings and legs and things in the freezer and we never get around to making stock. So here's a way of taking store-bought chicken stock before Thanksgiving and adding a lot of flavor to it. So when you get to the big day, it actually tastes a lot better. So we're gonna start with store-bought stock. Uh, and you want to use low sodium chicken stock and the reason is we're going to reduce this down by about 50%. And when you do that, if you use a fully salted stock, it's going to be much too salty. You put that in. That's the first thing you want to do. Now we're going to add a couple of bay leaves. Rosemary is interesting. I've tested this. Um, fresh rosemary is great if you're adding it near the end of cooking. If you add it at the beginning of cooking like this, it tends to be a little bit bitter. So we're going to use a little bit of dried. Then you can also add any herbs you want. We'll use a little thyme, sage, and you can just throw this in if you want to the pot because we're going to strain it later. But if you uh, had a lot of French training, um, you'll do a bouquet garni, which means we'll just get a little bit of string and tie it up. That's the bouquet garni. Now, let's just talk about garlic for a second. If you go to Italy, if you go to Rome, you'll notice you never get a strong garlic flavor and you also never get garlic breath after you're finished with dinner. Um, I actually interviewed Lydia Bastianich recently about that and she said that's because in Italy they don't tend to grate or mince their garlic, they tend to use whole cloves. Or better yet, you can actually use a head of garlic like this. I'm going to take off the top quarter or so and you can do this in a soup or a stew, it's fine. I'll get rid of a little bit of the extra paper on the outside. That's what you get. And if you put it in a soup or a stew, you should cook it at least 45 minutes so it becomes very soft. What's happening is you get garlic flavor, but you're not getting the really bitter garlic compounds. So put that in as well. Uh, now you can add if you want, if you happen to have, uh, for example, turkey parts like the neck and other things the day before, you can put that in here. Obviously that flavors it. I think leeks actually are one of the best things for flavoring and scallions. So put some of those in here. So we'll bring this up to a simmer. Simmer it for about 45 minutes to an hour once the garlic is really soft. And we'll come back and uh, finish up our make-ahead chicken stock. So it's been about 45 minutes. It's reduced by half. You can just eyeball that. Uh, and the garlic will now have softened as well. So we're gonna strain this out. So you can do this a couple days at a time. So when you get to Thanksgiving, you now have great chicken stock. So you've taken commercial chicken stock, flavored it, took about 45 minutes, and you finish it off and make a gravy for, for Thanksgiving. It'll have much more flavor than if you just grab the can or box of chicken stock from the supermarket. Here's the garlic head. Um, it's very, very soft, you can see. So I'm gonna let this cool just a bit and then I'll press it in here and whisk it in. So there you have it, a great tip for making perfect make-ahead Thanksgiving gravy from Milk Street Kitchen.